Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous video, we started with add selection screen on field event and we compared this event with add selection screen event. Now, what we will do for the best understanding, we will do the practical for both, yes. We will do the or we will compare both the events so that it will be very, very clear that we should go for add selection screen or we should go for add selection screen on field. Suppose if you remember, we are already validating this payment mode through which event add selection screen event. Now, with the help of add selection screen event, we can validate multiple inputs. It's our wish. Suppose I'm adding a logic of currency also. If the currency is other than INR or USD, we will give a app. So firstly, I will add the logic of currency also. This logic I'm adding as, as a part of add selection screen because we can validate multiple inputs. So how I will write if, what is the field for the currency? S underscore C-U-R. If I will see, what is the name of the say? S underscore C-U-R. -R. If S underscore C U R R hyphen low is not initial. It means I'm passing a value for the currency. Whenever we are passing the value only in that case, we should validate is not initial means is not null is not blank. If S underscore curve hyphen low is not equal to INR, if it is not equal to INR and not equal to USD, if the currency is other than these two, we need to give the and. It means we need to use and. This is same to same validation which we used for payment mode also. Now I will copy and paste. I'll change the message. I will create a specific message for the currency. We all know SC91 is a transaction code for the message class. In the message class, this is the message class, that a message. I will give a message. Suppose I will copy, paste, pass the correct currency. So we are adding the validation for the currency as a part of add selection screen. Then we will compare it to add selection screen on field. Now, what is the message number? 005. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now, firstly, we will see the execution. I will put a breakpoint. I will run. Suppose firstly, I'm giving a wrong value of payment mode. I'm suppose giving X. I'm pressing enter. We all know on any action, which event will trigger add selection screen event. Yes, we gave the value of payment mode. Yes, X is other than C, D or N. Yes, condition is true. And we got a message. Pass the correct payment mode. Have you seen? We got a message, but is this field is highlighted? This payment mode is not highlighted that this is the wrong value. Suppose I'm giving a right value of payment mode. Okay. If we perform the action, so at selection screen event triggered. So yes, see this condition is true but this condition is false. So message will not come. Suppose I'm giving a wrong value of the currency. 
Suppose I am saying euro. I am pressing enter. Again, at selection screen event triggered. This first condition is true. First if condition is true. But second if condition is false because our payment mode is C. So this message will not come. So it will go to next. So what the currency we gave now? Euro we gave. So yes, we provided the currency. It means first condition is true because we gave the value. Value means what? Is not initial, is not null, is not blank. So this if condition, true. Now this currency value is other than INR and USD. Yes, it is other than INR and USD. And have you seen the messages coming past the correct currency? But error is for currency, but it is not highlighted. It is not highlighted. But suppose if the customer is saying, whatever the wrong value I gave, I want that highlighted. I want that highlighted. So in case of at selection screen in the previous video we covered, in case of at selection screen, are you validating multiple inputs? Yes, just now we are validating payment mode and currency through which event at selection screen. But if we are giving a wrong input, it is not highlighted. If you want to highlight, you need to write a logic, explicit logic. Suppose I will write the logic. Suppose I want to highlight. So what I will do, I will simply add a logic. If you want to highlight, you need to write set cursor field. We want to put the cursor where? We want to put the cursor on the payment mode because that is the wrong value. So I will write S underscore PM hyphen low. So whenever you will give the, whenever you will give the wrong value of the payment mode, cursor will be on the payment mode and message will come. Same thing we will do for currency also. S underscore cur hyphen low. We are writing the explicit logic if we want to highlight. Okay. Now we will check the syntax and activate. Now you will see, I'm just going for this. I'm giving a wrong value. Have you seen this field is highlighted now? Now customer will say it's okay now. Now I'm giving C, this done, okay. Now I'm enabling this. Now I'm giving a wrong value for the currency. Have you seen this field is highlighted? Cursor is on that particular field itself. Suppose I am giving INR. Done. Yes. Suppose I am again giving wrong value. So cursor is on this particular field. So if you want to highlight, you need to write a logic for the same. Now we will go for third point. In case of at selection screen, if you are giving wrong input, Others field will remain unable, unable. Suppose we gave a wrong value to the currency. Have you seen? We gave a wrong value to the payment mode. Suppose I'll just give the right value here. I gave a wrong value to the currency, but other fields are also unable. They are not disabled. So each and every field of the input screen is unable, unable. It is not disabled. Suppose I'm giving X here. So we are getting an error for payment mode, but it does not mean that order date become disabled. No, everything is unable. Everything is unable. Now we will see same to same behavior. Now we will use which particular event at selection screen on field on field. And you will 100% understand 
how how it is different from this with the help of add selection screen on field we are validating single field so i will write the syntax so i am writing add selection screen on field what is the name of the field suppose firstly we are validating payment Suppose we are validating payment code. I will copy the logic and I will paste. Same to same thing we are doing. Now, this is not required. Because in case of add selection screen, we need to explicitly write a logic to highlight. Now, we will not write the logic to highlight. It will highlight automatically. Now, this particular, we are validating payment mode. Same thing we will do for currency. now. Add selection screen on. Now, what is the field? S underscore cur hyphen low. I will copy the logic and I will paste. Previously, we validated everything through a single event. Now we are validating through single, single field. At a time, single field we are specifying. Now this is not. Now to show you the clear difference. Now I'm commenting at selection screen. Now I will show you the behavior of this. And see where the error is. Okay. I will specify payment mode. I will specify currency. Because name is S underscore PM, S underscore current. Now I will put a breakpoint. I will put a breakpoint so that you can understand fully. I am giving a wrong value of payment mode, wrong value of payment mode, and I'm pressing enter. Whenever we will press enter, add selection screen on field, field, field event will call this. Yes. Now, have we gave the value? Yes, we gave the value. Is it other than C, D or N? Yes, now the message will come. Once the message will come, you will get the full, full understanding. Have you seen this field is automatically highlighted and the another, another most important thing, order date is disabled. Which field is enabled now? Only payment mode, payment mode. So in case of add selection screen, this was not the case. Each and every field is enabled, but here, which field is unable for which you gave the wrong value that is only unable other become disabled it is clearly mentioned yes in case of add selection screen on field the wrong input field remain unable other become disabled suppose now i'm going for suppose right c done now suppose I will go for currency now. Suppose I am going for currency. Now I am giving a wrong value of the currency. I am giving wrong value. And now this payment mode is correct. So it will not give any error. Now it is going to currency. Have we gave wrong value to the currency? Yes. So firstly, first if condition, true. Because we pass the value of currency. Is it other than INR and USD? Yes, we will get a message. So have you seen other fields become disabled? Order date and payment mode both are disabled. Which one is unable for which we gave the wrong value? And it is highlighted, highlighted, yes, because it is only unable. So it is highlighted, yes. So just see the real differences between both of them. And yes, depends upon the customer requirement. 
we can use the event test, but both are used for validation. Add selection screen used for multiple input validations. Add selection screen on field is to validate a single field which we are specifying. In case of add selection screen, yes, you need to write a logic if you want to highlight the wrong input. In case of add selection screen on field, anyways, it is highlighted because that is only, only enabled. In case of add selection screen, yes, if you are giving a wrong input, but other input fields also remain enabled. But in case of add selection screen on field, yes, only the wrong field is enabled, wrong input field is enabled, rest all become disabled. So this is the full, full explanation of add selection screen on field. So that's it in this video. Thank you.